Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here, welcome back to another Monster Hunter World video. And in today's video, I wanted to upload a discussion we had the other day over on 269's Twitch stream. For those of you guys that haven't seen these before, then every, say, two to three weeks, we basically have a discussion between myself, 269, Paradise, and sometimes an additional guest. And we basically speak about some of the games that we're playing, games that are coming out, things we're looking forward to, stuff like that. And this week, the focus was Dragon Ball Fighters, Destiny 2's Curse of Osiris DLC, and also the Monster Hunter World Beta. This time around, we also had Sox, the Monster Hunter EMEA community manager. So we had a chance to talk to him about Monster Hunter, ask a few questions. Some of you guys posted some questions in chat. We tried to answer as much as we could. So for those of you guys that didn't see it live, then this is that discussion. Hopefully you enjoy it. Make sure you follow 269 over on Twitch because he'll be streaming a lot more Monster Hunter World when the beta is out and of course when the full game is out. And of course, if you don't want to miss these discussions, then that's also where you can find them. Let's go. So in the background, we have some, uh, what is this? Tommy Kodachi hunt. Uh, the first, no, the first one is, so this is all, this is all stuff that like, like I recorded when I was in Japan. The first hunt is actually so my is very like first. Brand new stuff, right? Yeah, this, this one, this one I haven't shown. This, this is my very brand first hunt new. against, um, against Kuluyaku. And then afterwards there's, uh, there's a Tommy Kodachi hunt with me and Sox. Sox is using bow, I'm using insect glaive. And there's a couple of other things. In fact, there's right at the end of the footage as well, there's, uh, an Anjanath hunt. And while you guys have seen Anjanath, this is Anjanath in, the full game so this is actual difficulty where anjanath basically two shots me so you get a yeah you got easy. sweated i did yeah yeah like this, this that, that was the hunt where i was there the whole all the developers well all of them some of the developers were standing behind me watching i obviously i was in bone gear but still i was fine anjanath and um yeah they're, they're all watching me and the first time i i did get triple card to him because he just he hits hard like if he if he uses flame attack when i'm wearing this armor it's a one hit kill i'm just like there's no, there's no coming back from that. So yeah, so that's that's kind of a yeah combination of the footage in there. Um, this one actually, this first quest when I'm uh, hunting Kuliaku is actually in expedition, so it's completely free roam. So there's no timer, there's no you know the live. So obviously while I'm roaming around, there's also NPCs that I can see out in the world. Who's this fisherman? He's uh, so this is the thing when you're out in expedition mode, you can encounter other NPCs like there. So this is the guy that's like by the pool. I can he tell he gives me like a little uh fishing quest, and he's like go and catch this certain type of fish. Um, oh, there'll be a lady. Really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the game is kind of like. I know it's not open world. It's kind of open world then because there's NPCs out there that you can interact to get quests then. They've definitely yeah. tried to make the environment as uh, like rich and full of stuff as possible um, mm. rather than it just being, oh yeah, like you go into this map and you hunt monsters, like it feels alive and there's stuff to do. Um, oh, my PC's about to die. Give me two secs, guys. Sorry. Uh, yeah. yeah, they've made sure that you, yeah, you have things to do on those maps besides just hunting the monsters. You know, it feels like an actual place where people yeah. reside and have set up camp and lived in and stuff. You'll see that in some of the um some of the story missions. I think you might have got capture for some of those. Like for example in the Wild Swell Waste where you had to do that like an escort. Ah uh, yes, yeah, that was cool. Mission. That was cool. Like, yeah, and it's it's cool because it's something that you don't normally expect from Monster Hunter. Like Yeah, you know, yeah. You expect to just go in and hunt stuff and there's some kind of basic script for why you're doing that. Yeah, it was nice to or it's been nice for me to work on this and see they've really tried to push the boat out kind of making it feel like it's more than just a place where you hunt stuff. Mm. Nice. So let's talk about the beta first before we get into all the new juicy stuff and people can see the gameplay in the background because it's just your first hunt, right? They can see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enjoy that. Uh, um, let's start with Paradise. Since you're the, you're, you're the new, you're kind of <laughs> the, essentially the newbie to the Monster Hunter series. Like, what are your thoughts on uh, the, the Monster Hunters? It was so good. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was it was it was amazing i when, when, there, when did was... you start to enjoy it like that that, that is the real question because i feel like i there's always the whole thing i know like as soon as i went the, I, I i did the first hunt i did was single player the great uh jagress is it yeah yeah um and that was that was just extremely fun i used the uh the switch hacks which is mm -hmm. my my favorite from gen and I loved it. And then I did the next mission with a different weapon and I loved it. And what was kind of crazy about this demo is the amount of like replayability that was just in the demo of the game. Like mm. you, we were playing this demo right the way up until the last, you know, minutes of that it was available. <laughs> you could play yeah. every weapon you could, you had, I mean, you know, you didn't have, you couldn't craft anything. That's the, that's the biggest grind in Monster Hunter. But you, the demo alone was just extremely replayable just to test the weapons and have fun with the weapons. And hunt the different creatures, so yeah. it it was great. I mean, the the hunting was super fun. The weapon varieties are really fun. There's the the feedback of all the weapons is great. Like 
what I think was most impressive is that they've really done a good job with the ranged weapons, the uh, like the bow and the um, uh, the bow casters. Uh, because oh, I like, like oh, the heavy bow gun and yeah, the bow guns. That's the one. Like yeah. every weapon was fun, and that is very difficult to do in any game that has a variety of weapons. There's all. I feel like in any game, there's always going to be one or two weapons that either you heavily lean towards or like is almost like meta to play with that weapon. Mm. But in this, it's like. You could play any of them. You're gonna have fun. You're gonna be doing, uh, you know, if you're playing it, if you if you're good with the weapon, you're gonna be on par with everyone else. I feel like even, you know, there may be like higher burst weapons and higher like average DPS weapons and different ways to play. Like the insect glaive is gonna be like can more continuous damage, whereas other weapons are gonna be more like bursting with like charging their hits. But you're still gonna be doing on. You're still gonna be at the same like base level of you're all contributing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So overall, I, 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 I thoroughly enjoyed it. I think that this is, has the good potential to be Game of the Year 2018. Yeah. Good Game of the Year. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. I want to ask you, Slot, because I know you've like, obviously played it's, it a lot. But, it's, like, it's tough because I'm, like, I'm, I'm, for... I'm coming in as a community manager, but mm. in reality... No, no, let me ask, let me ask you the question. Like, All right, cool. Okay. So this is your first time that you got to play with other people playing the game at home, like, and you got to play the game. I guess you got you got you get take home builds anyway, but like, was it different for you? Did you like enjoy it in a different way that you hadn't beforehand? Absolutely. I mean, we did get a brief moment in uh, in Japan when Alex came down. We managed to get a chance to connect up all of the uh, the journos kits together. So it was all in the same hub and we was all trying to play together. However, playing, uh, it was great playing with those guys, but without sounding rude, these guys, a lot of these guys are new to the series. I'm, I'm what I like to think a veteran of the series. Uh, so playing with, with, only having Alex around, basically, who was in that same boat as me and having that same kind of, mm. uh, that higher skill level to the, to the, to the, to the game uh, was, was tough in a sense. But playing at home with you guys, where you guys are gamers alongside, like, like, like myself, mm. and being able to, like, smash it to pieces in a way that like i forgot that i was a community manager while i was playing with you guys and i started ragging on you guys for arguing when i should have been like oh come on guys let's all be sensible you know i completely just went back into like this is this is the game this is my game this is exactly why i'm loving the job um and i think i didn't get a chance until recently to well until the beta to kind of get hands-on with the other weapons because they've all been available to me i've always played through with that uh, with that mindset of I'm doing this for work, I'm playing it for a work reason rather than I'm playing to have fun. This was the first time that although I was working, I got to have real good fun uh, with the title. So I managed to get on with <laughs> weapons I'd never thought I would get on with before. Literally, the only weapon, it sounds strange, the only weapon that I'm perhaps not fond of is Greatsword just because we use it so much when we uh, when we first started playing Monster Hunter. Uh, every other weapon to me just felt completely fresh and completely brand new. And I can, I cannot wait for this game to come out so I can hunt with mm. you guys. It's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, I I really enjoyed it, man. Lance is ridiculous. Okay. Like, yeah. <laughs> what about you, Alex? Yeah, I mean, I I, I mean, it goes without saying that I absolutely loved it. Like the funny thing for me is, I mean, you know, obviously I've I've also had a chance to play like a fair okay, few events. Okay, I'm going to ask you a different thing because that's just like some bait question to ask you. I'm going to switch it around. What didn't okay. you like about the beta? Oh snap! The fact that the beta had to end and i can't play more of it <laughs> no no i mean, I mean there, no i mean there, there's 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 a couple of things you know it's like underlying gameplay systems i mean like i think i think it's a system that like, a lot of people had like a couple of frustrations with like the, the scout flyers still to this day um bother me a little bit not not like i don't mind their integration like i know some people have said before they they find the, their presence on screen a bit annoying that doesn't bother me it's more just the fact that sometimes when i'm trying to follow them they seem to get lost like a garmin sat nav so um that's a little that that was that was kind of a, a temporary <laughs> gripe for me and also um and also, like sometimes getting used to the radio menus is a little, a little bit weird because it doesn't. If you play games like that have radio select menus, like tons of games have them, the one in Monster Hunter World doesn't behave like you would expect. So it's quite. There's so many times where I kept on. It, I'll, I'll have gameplay of me. It, it just literally doesn't make sense. Like you open up the radio menu, you select your item, and then you make the stick go back into a neutral position, and then you need to flick the stick to get your yeah. item rather than well, just select seeing... the item use like what yeah. you see, in, the, in the triple hunt that i uploaded on the weekend when we when we did um the rathalos anjath and great jagras there's a part where i'm in the cave and you can literally see on the screen that i'm just jamming up like constantly on the thing i'm just like flick 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 because i'm trying to show up what was that alex 
flick, 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 flick. <laughs> that looked yeah. dodgy on camera, my friend. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's, no, that's basically what you have to do to get the radio. That's basically what you have to do to get the radio menu to work. That's how crazy it was. Although one thing I did, do, I did find afterwards was there's a second option in the menu where you can basically make it so you have to click R three to let's make the selection so i did that and it actually made it a lot better but i mean they, they were like honestly they were like my only like major you know major gripes i mean because but generally speaking i like i always thought when the base was announced because you know I, i've played i mean i've played a fair bit of this you know i've i've we've i've managed to sort of sink in probably a good like eight hours at gamescom um i played in japan for a good 12 15 hours right so like i'm closing in on like 20 hours of gameplay and the game's not even out right and i've so i've i've experienced like a you know i fought great jagras countless times and Jeneth countless times so you know i thought to myself like i don't know how much there would be for me to do in the beta but like i was still playing all day every day on stream we we're just finding different things to do and when we were doing like the, the speed runs and stuff and like and that's just the again i, I suppose because you know i've had a similar kind of experience to what socks has because most of the most of my hands-on time has been like alone in like kind of you know either at a game show or something like that so it's not properly like as we would play it as friends just at home just like yeah so so no, I, I absolutely loved it um i just uh i can't wait till january 26th yeah, like, uh, uh, for me, like, the beta was the time where I could, like, fully understand what mm. the game is, like, and why people enjoy Monster Hunter. Like, I've played Monster Hunter since Freedom Unite. Like, I've played it, yeah. but I've banged out hours and hours of Monster Hunter, but I've never liked it. I've just doing it, done it out of, like, friendship and appreciation for, like, Socks and Alex so that I can fill a space or just get through the game as, like, quickly as possible and stuff like that. And, uh... Let's play the game. It was okay, but it wasn't like, oh yeah, I'm going to write home about this. I'm going to tell everybody about how sick this game is and why I enjoy yeah. it. I, kinda, I had fun moments in it, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't like, oh yeah, this is good. But like every single time I went on a hunt in a monster hunt, I don't think there was a time when I was bored playing this game, if you get what I'm saying. Mm. Yeah. And we were streaming it for like five hours a day. And I was just trying out new weapons, and then Alex kind of started mocking me because I was like, "Oh, this, love, is, the one. this, this is the one! This is the one! one. <laughs> this is the one! Like great sword! This is the one!" I was like using the bow gun because I'm like normally a uh, a gunner or like a yeah or yeah normally a gunner. Like I think in uh, generations I use dual blades. In try I use long sword. Mm. Uh, in Freedom Unite, I use bow. In 4G, I use bow. Um, bunch of like I've played so many Monster Hunter games; they all like meld into each other, and I felt like they always kind of really felt sameish to me as well. Like there wasn't really there was changes, but it was always down to like really like the core changes, the core fans that like only the the hardcore weebs like Eric's would like. But like, <laughs> 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 but, like uh. now I can see like it's like. Monster Hunter is full fulfilling its full potential. And one thing that I've like really noticed about this beta is like people not complaining about the stuff that they were complaining at before they saw the trailer. Like a lot of the stuff that they were complaining about when they saw the trailer is not stuff that they're complaining <laughs> about now. Like they're just saying, Oh, yeah. the game's enjoyable. Maybe the game's a bit too easy compared to what like previous Monster Hunter games, but it's like there's a lot of stuff from like the demo stuff that's like being adapted and yeah. change just so it's more a bit more accessible like just down to the core values of health and stuff like that like health is being boosted the monsters probably won't uh, don't hit as hard and these are just like um stuff that the devs can change is change easily just to make it uh, a bit more easier when when i used to work on uh like people do this all the time when we i used to work on horizon i was responsible for the e3 demo on that and we used to make it so that nobody in the demo would finish like lower than like third or whatever because mm, you would yeah. use catch up but that wasn't something that was in the final game that challenge was always like dead yeah. like and by horizon that's horizon M motorsport not horizon zero Dawn, but <laughs> yeah. in case you guys get confused you're like what places <laughs> i think i think going to that point as well i mean to, 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 to reference the kind of socks used a couple of times during the beta was that yeah i mean like ha me having played the full game like like the version that is you know that you'll play on january 26th like I, I, I experienced actual difficulty. Like, like my first time when I thought Toby could actually like fifty six seconds into the hunt, I'd already died. Right? Like I got hit, I got dizzied, I got comboed, and then I got killed. Like Diablos would basically one shot us. We were all trying to defeat Diablos at the point where you would naturally encounter it, and it was doing a lot more damage than it did in the thing. I, I when I fought Anjanath, you know, Anjanath will be in this gameplay later on. Um, he did a lot of damage to me, so like, I'm not I'm not worried about that. And I, th I think you know, and again, people need to remember. Like I think I think to if you go to like any Monster Hunter fan, you will say 
which like if you look at any of the demos you might have played if you played the four ultimate demo generations demo i don't think any of those demos ever presented difficulty be it no one really complained about it then so i like i'm not i'm not worried about that stuff because i know that there will be difficulty i mean people were people were fighting um no at psx and from what i can hear a lot of people were just getting completely messed around with it so yeah it just means you know that the beta wasn't the time for them to say here's how hard the game is the beta was the time to say um you know we need to make sure our servers can hold up and it's a chance for new people to experience the game so if, if suddenly they put like a megaton tough quest in mm. sure the veterans would be like oh this is great but a lot of the new players would be like i can't even begin to to do this so i think i think the beta served a great purpose um I'm not worried. I'll just say that, yeah. you know, for veterans, the difficulty will be there. Like people people should be happy that they were able to cater to both audience because yeah. both audiences, while it might not have been super difficult, like you could have fi- you could find that difficulty if you wanted to. Like you could have done a triple hunt. Like we yeah, yeah, yeah. you could have gone and done like uh Jagras in one minute ten. You could have gone and done yeah. other things. You could have gone and do- done Jagras in one minute two seconds like Asta. Like Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, there was things that you could have done to create that kind of difficulty and have that challenge if you wanted it to ha- uh, to have that, um, and they did a great way of like balancing it, so it was exciting to play the game like at all times. Yeah, I think one of the nice things that like, I'm super happy about seeing as well, like you know, I'm on, I'm on the subreddit all the time, right? And like up until the beta, the subreddit is largely veteran core players, people that have been with Monster Hunter for for all this time. You know, they're talking about things, and since the beta, there have been so many people, like so many posts, just like I'm new to the series. Here are my thoughts. I'm new to the series. I've got a question. I'm new to the series. How does this work? You know, can you tell me what? There are so many posts from people that just be like, I've never played Monster Hunter before. I played the beta. It was awesome. I want to know more. And I mean, I, th- I think that I th- that, th- that is that is super super exciting, right? Because I mean, like, mm. as a fa- as a fan of the series, I want the series to grow. Like, like you know, now I want more people to play the game. I want more people to love the game because it, it's a series that deserves more attention, right? So yeah, I mean, that was that was cool to see. That brings you up into a good point, actually. While I have <clears throat> 250 of you guys in chat, if any of you guys are Monster Hunter fans and are veterans from the old days. Yes, there are going to be loads of new people joining that haven't played this series before. Mm. And we would really appreciate it if you guys could extend that welcome to them the same yeah. way that people have done in the past. You know, Monster Hunter has always been that series where it's always about co-op and help each other and working together. And I like to think that we do have, on the whole, one of the n- nicest and... Mm. least elitist communities out there and it'll be nice to have that extended you know guys just welcome new people in let them give them a hand get them up to speed like Monster, yeah. if it's something that you guys are passionate about let them share that passion with you like that's it's great and i i the more people that get to one side for me like that makes me that makes me happy that's why i'm in this position because i like bringing Monster to people <laughs> so yeah. if you guys could do the same thing like that would be amazing yeah that's one of the things that i found like really surprising while playing the beta like how welcoming people were and stuff like i i obviously i played monster hunter and like played it a lot but i just never f- fully got into it to kind of go sweat on any of the weapons so i was learning things while going along and everyone was like helping out like oh you'll yeah do this and you'll get more you'll be more efficient with it and stuff like that yeah while there are some edgy people in the monster hunter community looking at you oil all con all con i'm seeing you edgy kid no, 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 okay. but um it's uh like most of the people were, oh, that's a joke, by the way. Uh, <laughs> most of the people were like super welcoming and it's like able yeah. to just help me quite quickly or just suggest things that I should do or be doing or just to have a bit more fun in the game and stuff like that. Mm. So, yeah. Um, I, think, I think that's because the foundation of Monster Hunter is built on like, there is no PvP, right? It's built on working together. Like, quests are, yeah, there's no, there's no like me versus you. It's just we're here to get this monster. So, I think, I think the whole, uh, whole kind of community is built on working together, right? So exactly yeah we just gotta make sure that we maintain that because while yeah the community is gonna get a lot bigger than it used to guys mm. and we have to just make sure that no one messes with that right we gotta make sure yeah. that it stays that same way that it's welcoming everyone helps each other wants to hunt with each other it's friendly you know that kind yeah. of stuff we gotta make sure we yes. keep that uh socks i got a question for you shoot i am someone that likes to know how efficient i'm being in these type of games right so for me something like DPS percentage or numbers at the end of a hunt would be would be great. Okay. Do you think that would ever be added, or if not, why? See, I don't think that would be something team uh, would add as such because it adds a layer of competitiveness amongst your team, which you wouldn't necessarily they'd necessarily want to go. They want this game to be as cooperative as possible. So they do have the uh, like the commendations at the end of the game, which show like how well you've done in certain areas. But I don't think they'll ever 
show one stat compared to another player just to make sure mm. that when it comes to uh yeah you know, when it comes to playing other people there's never that kind of over aggressive bad blood mm. that's just my yeah. my take on the situation i imagine if i was asked they'll say the same thing but that's always been one of the core pillars of this game that it's always been about helping each other and hunting with people and having that positive vibe while doing those experiences so i think that's probably what it is they want to they're just really uh they're really concerned I'm not concerned that's probably the best worst word they're really uh <laughs> whatever the word is you're supposed to use here of making sure that this game stays as positive conscious yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah. Conscious yeah really conscious aware. there we go yeah, yeah conscious aware that they, they, they don't want to go anywhere near that side of of the um of the industry with this game yeah Fair enough. Yeah. So, but but I think I think to that point though, you know, but but there are at least there are at least methods in the game for you to work that out yourself now. So, for example, you can now go to the training room, turn on damage numbers, and at least work out yourself. All right, these are my attacks that do most damage, and then you can use the the monster hunter, uh, the the hunter's notes to actually look at the monsters and be like, all right, I've got a blade master weapon. This is the place where I should be. Like for example, I could be like, all right, on Anjanath, I've got a blade master weapon. I should be cutting. I should be attacking. I don't know the legs because this is where it does most damage. And then you go in the training room, you're like, all right my level three great sword charge does x amount of damage this is where i'm most efficient so at least you can kind of there's scope for you to work that out in yourself you know not not against the not against your team but at least you can know that because of what you've done you're being as efficient as you possibly can yeah okay. and what's also great is that we have excellent youtubers like alex and shout out to gaijin hunter as well mm. who will put out videos explaining to you like the breakdown of those weapons of, of their move sets and what like the best combos and efficiency and the way to use them you also see people putting up speed runs so you can oh, see their yeah, yeah. speed runs on how like i didn't even realize like sword and shield i used back in the day and it's only when i started watching the speed runs i realized how versatile a weapon mm. sword and shield was and how you can literally just keep monsters in the same place the entire time and put out a constant dps it's ridiculous yeah um and seeing that kind of stuff definitely definitely mm. helps so yeah i would say <laughs> Yeah, if it comes to you know, kind of what? knowing how well you're doing. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened? I don't know, there was some strange, weird, like audio squeal. <laughs> what? I don't know. What? Mid, mid while you were talking, there was just this weird, like, <laughs> he sneezed. It was like, Ree. <laughs> okay. I have to, I have to hit that back on the stream after because you guys yeah. have like some suspect faces right about now. Oh, um, yeah, I can't remember what I was saying that put me completely off. Yeah, uh, there, there's ways of finding out how to be more efficient, um, but I think they want to stay away from it being. Yeah, it's sweaty, sweaty, sweaty. Yeah, All exactly. Right, cool. So, like, the question. Yeah, it sounded like someone sneezed. The, the question for someone now is like. What are your main weapons? Like, what is your number one weapon? You can only choose one. I don't want to hear anything about another weapon that you thought you might like. I want to hear about your numero uno El Capitano weapon. My so, weapon? Le from right to left. So that's the uh, Paradise first, so then Socks, and then Alex. And, um... So this is an, an unfair question. Uh, just To just make <laughs> us pick one. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to pick one. But then I'm I'm gonna shout out to another one, all right? No, Which no, I know you said not to do, this. but I'm gonna I'm you're gonna do it anyway. I'll, I'll allow the shout out. I'll allow the <laughs> shout out. All, all time. right. So the the main the main weapon has got to be the long sword. Oh uh, yeah. So fun, so cool, and I love it. But the shout out has to be to the lance because the lance <laughs> I, I, I in I love in, it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> playing like playing the lance in in Gen, I was just like this this is a dead weapon. I don't like it. And people yeah. people may have liked it in the traditional one. Monster Hunter games, but in World, the Lance is just hilarious and super fun and, and mm. still a great weapon. So they've right. made the weapons that like I didn't like and the weapons that I thought were just like not fun, and they've made every weapon fun. So yeah, yeah what's the difference between the like the gun lance and the lance? Like can you do the same things with the la with the gun lance? Yeah. Is what like what's the Lance is la uh well gun lance is of course more, more more about like stabbing and shelling. So like while they both have shields and they both kind of have the, the core Kind of stand and protect um can, and can poke you a, functionality. Can you do a guard like a perfect guard with the gun lance or no no gun, gun no gun lance is more about like you you both have really strong shields both of them are about being like up in the monster and sort of taking the damage and then follow up with attacks but yeah gun lance is a lot more about like shelling whereas lance is you know more about kind of guarding and well if, unless you want to lance, be lance, lance, lance is uh lance is uh more consistent with its damage like you kind of just poke 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 yeah block, poke 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 block yeah. whereas with the gun lance because it has more explosive damage options and it doesn't have the same 
uh, speed of attack that the mm. uh, Lance has. You're looking for those opportunities to get off those big damage mm. numbers. So you've got the wyvern and Blast, and you've got your shells, and the weapon loses its sharpness quite quickly because you have such an explosive mm. amount of power. So you're kind of having to... It's quite similar to, to Great Sword, in my opinion, of where you're looking for those prime opportunities to get off big damage and get that yeah, burst, burst burst damage, damage on the monster. Down. And cool. uh, because it handles just a little bit more... Clunky is the word. Uh, like more, uh, like it's, it's slower than yeah, than the lance. Sluggish, I think a lot, yeah. it's a little bit, yeah, a little bit more sluggish as a weapon. You find people kind of go into the two camps. I know, for example, Duncan Knee Deep loves the gun lance because he likes looking for his opportunities to get off that blast damage. Yeah. Me personally, I prefer the lance more uh, mm. after the beta, mm. just because of you know being able to block. Yeah. Bam, bam, you know that that's just how it, when it feels. It feels amazing. I, now. I think going like back in sort of like the four ultimate days, guys and hunter always hit the nail on the head. He's like. You'll always find a monster hunter. People are either a lancer or a gun lancer. You're not. Yeah. You're not normally both. You're either you're you're one camp or the other. No, I'm definitely more lance. But yeah. Yeah, and the, yeah, you're right. In chat, someone says the the lance has a bit more verticality too. You're absolutely, yeah. That's that mm. circle. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I should so, probably yeah, stop doing socks, that motion. What was, it? <laughs> socks, what was your um? <laughs> what was your chosen weapon then? Like your uh, your, your numero uno. So my, as you guys probably know, half of you guys know this in chat already, my favorite weapon is charge blades. Um, but also shout out to Bo, man, because I was not expecting to fall in love with Bo the way that I did when we was in Japan. Like Yuri uh, showed me some, some new stuff with the bow in terms of like how it plays and the, the movements you do with it and how you're supposed to frame your mindset when you're playing with the bow. And that thing is beast like that thing is amazing i mean you, you saw the stuff as well like two six yourself yeah, you can jump right. off the wall you can like flip back you can like uh, charge step into it you can get a dragon piercer with the applied uh status effect and like just yeah man yeah. It's, it's ridiculous you can even st you can you can stun with the um with the right trigger and circle with like your uh, i can't remember the, the arc shot so yeah. like you can get your arc shot down, you get a couple of other shots down as well, and then you put your dragon piercer and you've done like ridiculous amounts of damage and you're like yeah. a boat. It doesn't make sense to me. Like that thing is gonna be amazing. I think that's gonna be uh, definitely like a speedrunner's choice. Especially uh, for like flying uh, monsters, like for like rapid. Heavy Bogon's gonna be the speedrunner's choice. Oh yeah, but yeah, this is true. <laughs> <laughs> heavy Bogon's oh, like the is... sweatiest gun you're heavy Bogon's sick. Of... Heavy Bogon's sick for, for DPS. But then yeah. when it comes to like status effects, Bo obviously comes out on top again. So yeah. whether you you might get like a I I mean I'm not confirming or denying, but you know if there was for example a bow that had sleep and para, like that's yeah. going to be stronger than uh, a heavy yeah, bow yeah. that has sleep and para, even though the DPS would be higher. So yeah, it's just about your playstyle, I guess, as well. But I'm yeah, looking forward mm -hmm. to see what people do with that weapon. Okay. Um, you Alex, what's up with uh, what's your what's your chosen? So it's, it's it's still definitely going to be charge play. I mean, like I've been you know I've been charge blade since like four for ultimate um and it just like it just feels incredible in it, feel, it feels incredible uh, this, but also, it. like... it's like it's okay like it's, it's, for me it's like hella boring i don't know mm, how you guys nah. like it but mm. i guess it's um, i don't no, know no, like paradise no, once, once you learn the techers yeah on it and you start getting into it. I, obviously i'm not like some sweat some charge blade sweat and maybe that's why i don't really like it as much it was just a bit Whatever well, that's thing that's thing in Monster Hunter, right? Like every every weapon, like people have their their. I mean, for example, like look back to like Four Ultima. I didn't like bow guns. There are people out yeah. there that absolutely love them. Like so, this always gonna be a personal thing. But for me, Charge Blade is like an incredible weapon. And the thing the thing that I enjoyed, I I enjoyed it even more in the beta because like I used it when I was in um Osaka. But like my my gameplay in Osaka wasn't like wasn't perfect with it. And I mean, I, for example, I missed out on a lot of guard points partly because like I was I hadn't used Charge Blade for a while so i obviously i picked it up in there so i was kind of relearning it and also it's kind of partly jet lag so i was trying to play while tired and like but then having to sit down in the beta I was, I was able to sit down and be like you know what i'm fully focused let's play this weapon properly you know like getting guard points off doing you know following like all the proper attack chains and stuff and it was just yeah it was it's was, it was like it's, it's always gonna be my favorite weapon um but since we're doing shout outs shout out to the hammer because hammer's gonna be my second main because yo that that that's slide down the hill into cartwheel Whew. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, so my main weapon is going to be the hammer. I, I just think the hammer is just, just ridiculous. Like, it yeah. is the most insane weapon. Like, I don't know. I don't think there's anything more satisfying in Monster Hunter World than just hitting that full on Big Bang. Combo <laughs> the monster's head has been knocked down. <laughs> like, you're just swinging. And it's got, like, so much versatility in terms of what you can do. You're just, like, jumping off mm. the hill, sliding down. It's like somebody went, yeah, hammer. Like, who, who in the Monster Hunter place was just, like... Let me make the one of the heaviest looking weapons be able to like roly poly in the sky, <laughs> spin around, hit a monster, 
And I was like, knocked him out as well at the same time. I was like, this is insane. <laughs> yeah, surprisingly like, mobile good. for such a heavy weapon. Yeah, surprisingly mobile for such a heavy weapon. And my second weapon, even though I said I wasn't going to do it, is probably Lance. <laughs> like, Lance is such a... Like, yeah, it, it, Lance is a sleeper hit for me. Like, I didn't know how good Lance was. Mm. And I think I've always been looking for this kind of weapon that takes skill to use and is more about reaction than, like anything else it's like oh you, you can counter you can um you can do the da damage the only thing that worries me about lance is that it's like very same-ish in terms of like what you're doing it's just like circle circle hop back circle circle hop back but like the guard mm. and the perfect guard and the counter hit, hit just make it such a, a a super strong weapon that i'm just like maybe i could f forgive that the other one i'm probably eyeing up in terms of like being a, a blade master is longsword because it's got that um, that foresight slash for the counter. I'm looking for a weapon where I can counter stuff because I feel like once I get sweaty, then that's where I'm going to be at. No, don't say charge blade with guard points. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. Charge but, blade. Yeah. I have to reiterate that the lance is great because of the charge and only the charge. <laughs> 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 I cannot wait for the game to launch and for me to be able to make a dash juice, a mega dash juice, so my stamina doesn't go down, so we can have lance races around the map. Mm -hmm. Like I will just charge nonstop. And the same goes for Insect Glaive when I want to just like how I do want to do a hunt where you never leave the ground. That'd be a sick yeah. challenge. That'd yeah, be a sick yeah, challenge. Yeah. Like, literally, if you touch the ground, challenge failed. Start again. Go. The, the, uh, like, another really good thing that isn't a weapon that just added and just changed the gameplay was it was just a rock steady mantle. So like shout out to Rock Steady Mantle, number one boy in <laughs> you. Yes. Um, <laughs> Speedrunners, five time, five time, five time champion of speedruns. Uh, it didn't, it didn't number... click to me how great it was until it... we played multiplayer, and I was yeah, like, exactly. This stops me from getting tripped. This stops <laughs> me from. Uh, this gives me earplugs. This basically stops any issue that you would have with having to play with Alex and his longsword. So yeah, exactly. It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, I don't know if there's any other things that you wanted to talk about from your gameplay that you had in uh, uh, in Osaka, Alex, there. I guess there's, like, some little cat running around a trolley. What's the, what's the Palico saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, well, yeah, he's definitely got, I mean, yeah, yeah, Palico, obviously, Palico's just changed a little bit. One Palico going and getting, like, a bajillion Palicos. But, yeah, that, that little trolley thing was kind of cool. It's, like, the mini, I don't know whether the tank will make a return, but that's that's what I've seen, like, the, the equivalent of the tank. He fires out little pellets. But, yeah, this 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 gameplay here, this is, this is like, actual in-game Anjanath, not beta Anjanath. So this is Anjanath where if if he hits me with a fire breath attack, I will die in one hit. And if he jumps on me like that, uh then I get messed around quite a bit. So this was a this was a, this was actually a tough fight. I mean I probably should have gone and got some better armor in in all fairness. But this was um yeah. Alex tried like... to roll in at CJ, sorry Cap from Japan, thinking that he was top sweat and tried <laughs> to show off to all the mandem that he knew what was what and then got absolutely destroyed by Anjanath. <laughs> Yeah in, front, yeah, in front of the guy that he worships, being yeah, yeah. Hunger fan. <laughs> yeah, talk, talk, fan saw him fail. And that me, was yeah. the most emotional part. So not only has he had the the failure of being like, "Raw, I just died. Raw, I just died as a Monster Hunter YouTuber. Raw, I just died as a Monster Hunter YouTuber in front of this guy that I idolize yeah. on his home turf." Like it was just like three layers yeah, was... of just like body. Because well, it's funny because 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 he came like he came and stood behind and he was like, "Why are you why are you wearing bone armor?" Because like, bear in mind, bone armor was like the third set you make in like lower, you know, you have like your leather, your iron and you have bone. So bone is like super low defense. Like by the time I went into this, I should have been wearing like the Jura armor that I crafted later. But I was like, no, you know what? Bone armor looks cool. I'm going to do it. Um, and then, yeah, he came behind. He's like, why, why, why are you wearing this armor? I was like, I like a challenge. And like, they, he sat there watching me for a fair bit. Like, and I, the, the annoying thing is the first time, because the first time I failed this quest, the first time I did it, um, I died twice, but I got, I got him limping. He was like, he went to sleep. I put the bombs down. I did the damage. But he still woke up and obviously had a bit more health. And in that time, he just tail whipped me, burnt me with fire. And it's like, and I, he was probably about five hits from death. Mm. But it's like, doom, done. And then Tokuno was standing behind me. I was like, oh no, I failed. And then I went back. And obviously, you know, Sod's Law, when he wasn't watching, I then went back the second time, which is the gameplay you're seeing here. And I, I won. So uh, I did it. I still I still did my challenge. But yeah, yeah. So, so I mean, so this is definitely, you know, and again, bear in mind, this is still, still low, like low rank stuff anyway. But yeah, this is like, the challenge is there. So, um, this is I'm, giving, I'm giving Alex stick as well for what happened to CJ, but in reality, he was also the person to get through the playable content the fastest. So, like, he, does, <laughs> he does have the skills, mm -hmm. but I just, I just like... So, uh, like well, that's, yeah, that had to be it. Was day one, I was like, I've got to do everything on day one, so on day two, I can go and farm stuff. But yeah, that was, uh, that was fun. I think also, like, so something I was just like, kind of at the end of the discussion, I mean, like, you know, I'll probably, well, it'll kind of, 
it'll be in a video that's uploaded earlier in the week anyway but but um yeah there was the interview at psx because obviously while while um while the beta was happening it was also a playstation experience there was obviously a build there people could play they could also fight no gigante there was also an interview with uh riozo and kaname and like during that they were kind of just talking a little bit about um like post-launch support and they just mentioned that they will be free dlc which is kind of something we, we obviously expect from like monster Hunter anyway but they even said that they'll be adding monsters in that as well so just like for anyone that's new to the series the really cool thing about that being that when you the game you buy on january 26th you know there'll also be like there'll be tons of stuff to do plus there'll be reasons to kind of like check back throughout the year because there'll be more stuff to, to play as well so it's gonna be cool oh yeah there you go that's that was him that was basically on full health the fire just poof, literally got messed up gg 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 so yeah. we talked about, about Monster Hunter 4 a bit now. So we're going to move to question time, which is where they can ask you questions about Monster Hunter. Here you go. This is more for um, Sox and Alex and stuff like that. But we'll see the question. So if you have any questions about Monster Hunter, they're going to obviously let me just disclaimer this because some of you guys are some eager beavers. They're going to be able there is NDAs around what we can and can't answer and stuff like that. So there are going to be some stuff that we can answer and that you might not know. And there are going to be some questions that they can't can't answer. So don't get too offended. And don't ask any crazy silly questions, like because obviously no. if, if it's like if it's like, is this monster gonna be in the game and it hasn't been announced, obviously no one's gonna be able to say that. Anymore. So let's yeah. try and keep it to like things you know that we can actually talk about. But yeah. Yeah. Do you want to mod the questions or should we just pick them from chat? Uh I'll mod the questions. Um yeah. And I'll probably adapt them if I feel like they're being a bit too. <laughs> 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 um, cool, cool. Should be all right. While a few so, questions roll in, can I just yeah. say uh, to anyone in chat that didn't play the demo or is looking at Monster Hunter on the fence, the game has so much replayability mm. in the money that you like that you spend on the game in terms of the hours of gameplay that you're going to get. It's going to be way up there in like in pound to hour efficiency or dollar to hour efficiency. So if you're looking at it and you're thinking, there's not going to, how, how much am I going to play this game? If you're liking the look of it, you're going to play this game a lot. Okay. That's just what I wanted to say. So the first question is G rank? Uh, we haven't announced any details regarding low rank, high rank, G rank, and we're not going to be talking about that stuff until after release. So what's Alex's uh, answer but... to that question? I mean, my, my answer is I, I, I honestly don't know. Like, I've, I've spoken in interviews, heard them talk about, you know, like low rank stuff. But beyond that, I haven't had any answers to that. I tried to ask the question a couple of times at Gamescom. I wasn't given an answer. So, yeah, as far as I'm, as far as, as far as I'm aware, I just know what we what I've played so far. Uh, the next que- another question is from Faceman. Can I get a free copy, Captain <laughs> Face? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Will there be some uh, weapon tuning in the full version? Uh, so if you watch some of Alex's videos, you will see that there is some uh, bowgun customization available in the game. More so, that's been uh, available in previous games. Uh, as far as other details, you'll be able to be able to see more stuff when it comes to launch. Cool. Will a me- will the mechanic of joining parties and friends change from the demo to the full game? Using that code was cumbersome. Yes, absolutely. Uh, again, this was something uh, which was kind of a hangover from, uh, you know, our um, what's the word? Our show builds in order oh, for yeah. us to connect up to each other, and our our demo build that we had in at CJ. Remember when we played together? Mm, uh, yeah. Alex. In in the uh, in the final game, there will be an option to invite friends. That code option will stay. Uh, we've noticed that it's actually quite popular with streamers because they have the ability to invite people to their lobbies without actually having to add them to their friends list, etc. It allows people to hunt with each other where they don't necessarily have to invite that person onto their personal friends list. So there will be both options available for you guys as alongside the squads where you can have like 50 people into your squads uh and you can have eight squads available to you that kind of stuff so yeah, we've definitely yeah. made sure that there's going to be a robust online experience for this title it was basically the entrance of them they're like if you're not going to get through this then you're not getting into the demo <laughs> 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 uh i think someone just said devil joe uh <laughs> devil who <laughs> all right uh was the Puke Puke not intended to be in the beta? Uh, who's Puke Puke? Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is there any time horizon on the PC release date? Are we taking a few months or more in the order of half a year to a year? 
So we have no time uh, to announce at the moment. We will be giving you guys this information as soon as possible. We know that you guys are hungry for the PC version uh, to to come out. Uh, we are focusing completely at the moment, 100% on the console versions. But we will have uh, information to share with you guys very shortly. Uh, we do thank you guys so much for waiting for this news and any announcements that we have on that version. And we are sorry to keep you waiting. Okay. Alex, how much do you like the new housing system? Uh, I mean, so I only experienced, I only got to like experience a tiny bit of it because I saw so in the interview, obviously, when I spoke to uh, Tokoda and Riozo, they explained that they're, you know, when you progress through the game, you can get different houses. But when I, when I played, I only got to experience the basic house, which is like your, you know, your, I guess it's kind of like a, a, a low sort of low quality sort of basic house where you kind of go in, you've got some digs. I think you're even sharing it with someone. There was like some other guy sitting in the corner of my room. So it's basically like you're, you've, they, the way that Tokoda described it is like you just moved into the, you just moved into the town and you're like, it's just the only place you can find to stay. And then obviously as you, as you progress the story, you get like more rooms and stuff. But I, yeah, I mean, it's, it, it functions like, functions like most other rooms in that, you know, you can go there, they access your item box, change the gear for your Palico. You can go to the training room from there. The cool new feature um, that I do like is that those, when you're out and around in the world, if you, if any of you guys in the beta saw you have that net, uh, you can use it to capture things like spiders or bugs or birds or fish. Um, and some of those monsters can then be released in your house as like little house pets and stuff. So that's really cool. So it's then kind of, there will almost be that part of the game where you're like, oh, I want to go off and um, like go and find a whole damn game from just a question about housing. Like... <laughs> no, I'm just saying it's cool because then you, I'm just saying it's cool because you go off and you oh, rare okay. monster, and then, but like a little monster and you put it in your room. But yeah, either way, yeah. it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> all right uh i want to get through as many questions as possible that's why i'm trying to skip through alex's oh sorry answers. yeah uh are the man uh, are the mandals crafted like armor or are they just sort of provided mm. Let Alex uh, answer, answer uh, i haven't um i haven't actually yet, well, i haven't actually like encountered it um properly in fact i didn't encounter any like too early in my game so i just don't have the answer for that yet i don't think um I think when I asked an interview, they just said, you know, there are things you'll acquire as you go, but I haven't got details on how you acquire them yet. So we'll have to find out. Did uh, yes. Capcom add your awesome beard? <laughs> no, but Character Creation does have a beard. It's, it's not quite as long as this beard. It is a better beard than we've ever had before, and it will do. It's not quite... Like, the, the, the one thing that got me was, like, <laughs> they gave me this beard, right? But then I went and saw the smithy, who has a very big beard, and I was like, well, if he's got a beard... Why can that not? Why can that beard model not be on my character? But no, it's fine. Like I mean, I'm gonna have a helmet on most of the time anyway. You're probably not gonna see my face. But yeah, there are. There's definitely better beards. Um, for sure. I was I was very happy with the beard that they put in. It's not quite my beard, but it it does the job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I can definitely make <laughs> me in game. Let's put it that way. Uh, uh, yeah, it was really nice of them because in in the earlier builds the beards still weren't present, and me as a beard owner was like, hey man. We need some bids in this game. Um, so yeah, I've been fighting that bid corner for you guys. Like, it, it's there's definitely bids in the game. <laughs> okay. So there's so many questions, and I didn't realize they were all piling up so quickly. But we're gonna. So I'm gonna start skipping some questions and going through the list of them. So if your question isn't asked, then I'm sorry, my dudes. But uh, the people who got in early and asked their questions got all of them answered basically. Um, but one that I do want to know is, is there going to be a leaderboard for time run? Because I'm, I'm turning into some speed run sweat now. So I don't know whether there'll be a leaderboard for uh, mm. like the hunts that you have in like the story campaign. However, Monster Hunters feature in a quest. And these arena quests always have uh, times which are saved. I believe they're saved to your guild card also. So you will be able to like post like your your uh mm. your final screens and stuff online to share with people i'm not sure how that works in the game as a leaderboard i honestly haven't seen too much of that stuff myself i think they did actually mention in a famitsu article that there was like there is a a global leaderboard aspect to the the arena thing which was like they put up a screenshot of it which is yeah oh, which excellent really cool. excellent yeah. yeah i haven't seen much of that stuff myself so that's good to hear. Mm. <laughs> is there any news about new trailers coming at the taipei game, game show does capcom have a presence there uh, I am not too sure. Cause, where is that? I, that sounds really, really odd. Because I probably should know where that is, but I have no idea where that location is. But no, I don't think there will be any new trailers at that location. Okay. I'm sorry uh, if that makes me sound really, really well, uncultured. <laughs> <laughs> will there be a, a new uh, map DLC? Will there be new areas? And like... We're not discussing any DLC details besides the ones that we've discussed already. Weapon tree. Can you ta guys talk about that? 
Uh, yeah, we, we can. I think, I I think it's already in my gameplay. I mean, like, to, to his own, I've got some, like, gameplay showing smithy stuff. Obviously, I don't have the finer details because at the moment, when I played in Japan, some of the, like, actual numbers for the weapons were subject to change. So I haven't actually included, like, actual specific numbers. But the weapon trees, uh, I mean, we've seen before that, obviously, you know, when you craft a weapon, it then expands into the tree demonstrates, you know, or shows what optional parts you have. If you upgrade a weapon to a tree, you can now, new to Monster Hunter World, reverse that upgrade. So if suddenly you upgraded, like, to the... I don't know the Puke Puke Greatsword, and you're like, actually, I didn't want to do that. You can go back and you keep the materials. You still lose the money, but you keep the materials. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, that's that's and the fact that you've actually got them visible from the start makes it easier to, because <coughs> one of the things you do in the past, you kind of craft a weapon, and sometimes the tree wouldn't be revealed until like further in the crafting process. Whereas now you have that visibility. Um, so, yeah, useful. is there a blood option in the full game? I assume dust and rocks coming out of the monster are placeholder effects. Uh, I'm not too sure, but I'll have to get back to you. Okay. Uh, if you run out of potions, can you keep grabbing them from the item box during the quest? Is there a time limit? So yes, you can go back to the to the tent and grab all your items in your. Now I know that some of you hardcore guys are perhaps on the fence about this option being available, being able to grab extra stuff out on your quest. It is an option. They're available, so you don't have to use this stuff. If you want to have a more hardcore hunt, you can go out there with your, your, your do your no potions run, all that kind of stuff. This is to allow guys who you know don't know the monsters they're fighting. They've gone out and they've realised, oh, actually, this guy poisons. I kind of need to get some antidotes. I'm gonna go fast travel back to camp, uh, get some antidotes, or you know, I'm gonna go craft some stuff that I need to help me on this quest because I was not prepared for what I was about to fight. And it gives people that mm -hmm. chance to. Look at the situation, uh, look at the monster they're fighting, and to reassess that if needed. Uh, you maybe you need to change your weapon as well, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, it's, it's, in my opinion, it's a great addition uh, in making the hunts feel a lot more uh, a lot more realistic. You know, you wouldn't just walk, carry on in a fight in real life that you realise you wasn't going to win. You'd kind of back off and, yeah, you'd win it. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Is free hunt restricted to the ancient forest only, or can you free hunt in other zones? You can free hunt anywhere. Okay, cool. Uh, I know this is a long shot, but when they announced new monsters via a DLC, did that just mean different monsters than we've already seen, or and are just aren't in the game, or brand new monsters that we've never seen before? We'll talk more about that later. Okay, see. He, he's smiling. <laughs> <laughs> is DLC going to be free? Uh, yes, we've, uh, yes, we've said DLC will be free. Yeah. Can you have a Palico in a three-man team as long as it's not full? Uh, I don't think so. I think it works that if there's two of you, you each have a Palico. But the moment there's three players, you lose the Palico. Yeah. Because the damage output's higher. And it also means, you know, you fight over who gets to bring out their awesome cat with them. And no one wants to have that discussion. <laughs> you know, it's, it's not worth the argument. So, yeah. Three-man teams, no Palicos. Olcon says, uh, can you disable helmets and are they present? But, uh, like, how does it work in cutscenes? Are they just like disabled or like if you have that option or no? I don't know. So, what's great about uh, this game is when you ca create your character, you can actually customize the, uh, the range of emotions that your character will or, uh, portray. So, you can select your option. Maybe they're a little bit more grimacy than another character and you can make sure that your helmet's off. So, when it comes to emoting in cutscenes, your character's emoting the way that you've decided that how he. Mm -hmm. and how his personality will emote uh, which is great i'm not sure whether there's an option to have it on during combat and off during cutscenes, but you can definitely have it either on or off so you know you can flip the switch if you need to someone named willis gaming tv asks are socks to say jewel blades re jewel blades jewel blades there you go <laughs> <laughs> you are welcome are there big announcements left from now until the release oh yes there is a few, I think. I will, pff, maybe I'm just hyping this up too much. But yeah, there is definitely some stuff about stuff you should be excited about. Uh, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Watch this space. Cool. Make sure you're following uh, Monster Hunter on Twitter, on no, Facebook. Don't follow, don't follow the official channels. Follow Atlas Gaming so you can get all your Monster Hunter news. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Place. Okay. Hey, why, why not right? the boss? Okay. Why not okay. the boss? Okay. Why not the boss? Okay. No, 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 no. Just us. We want as many <laughs> views as possible. Keep your eyes on channel. Okay, <laughs> okay? all right. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool. And also follow, follow Socks as well. 
at some key oh, no, 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 just me, just me, just me, <laughs> now, follow, uh, if you're gonna follow the official Monster Hunter channels, uh, at Monster Hunter, right, is that the correct mm-hmm. one, and at Sokki Bear uh, on Twitter, uh, there are a few, um, Capcom channels that you can actually follow on YouTube, I think there's about three or four of them, uh, the good ones to follow are, um, the good ones to follow are like the Capcom Capcom Japan ones and mm. the uh, the just the global uh, Capcom one. Yeah, as well as, uh... I'm triggered because someone in the chat just says I don't have the bid requirements for follows, but I don't think they realise. <laughs> mad, 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 mad. <laughs> I had a bid before Alex did. It's true. It's true. It's Alex, true. Alex used to have a pitiful excuse of a bid. Like, I, <laughs> it's I true. Don't, I don't, don't did, disrespect this growth. This is this is many years of ma- maintenance and looking mm. after. You know, <laughs> this, this is business beard right here. This is business yeah. beard. <laughs> Sorry. Cool. Um, are map are the whole maps for each area available from the beginning, or do you have to unlock them by exploring? You uh, you work through them via the the story, which is tied into missions. But you can also do multiplayer. So yeah, they're not all available at the start. But yeah, you do. You Unlock them slowly as you play through. Uh, they all have like um, a relevance to uh, the story. <laughs> Why are you laughing, Alex? <laughs> they all have a relevance to the to the uh, the uh, story that's going on. <laughs> oh, no, what's going on? Two sixty foot in my that my old picture of me pre pre beard pre beard up on chat. Oh dear. Oh, oh my gosh. Tune strap. Uh, is there transmog in the game, and could it be added somehow? Uh, so we do have uh, the samurai set, which is a layered armor set. Uh, that's something that goes with your armor, which is a cosmetic. There uh, uh, could be scope for more of that stuff, but we're not revealing more at the moment. Or transmog, we haven't discussed in the base thing. Who knows? You know, wait right till the yeah. game comes up. Yeah, I think it's important to clarify. You know, the, that that samurai set is not transmog. It's like it's a different thing. It's kind yeah, of like yeah, I yeah. guess we've seen we've seen to a certain extent we've seen those sort of things in games like Guild Wars or like uh, Monster Hunter Online, where it's basically like you have your armor underneath and you just have like an extra slot for like it makes you it makes you look like that, but it doesn't carry stats or anything. So exactly. yeah. Uh, what do we get from the limited special limited use quests that we get from hunts? Oh, uh-huh. they—they're talking about the so in in um in the recent Famitsu article and kind of some of the stuff that we encounter when I was playing in Japan. Um, when you go to the research center, you can pick up your bounties, your investigations. There are also what they call like special limited quests. Um, that like, details on that are like kind of like at the moment. There's only sort of so much that I was able to show in videos. So all I'll just say for that is that if you check my video that's on bounties, that explains everything I can currently talk about. That's the easiest way to look at it. And if you're watching this uh, this discussion afterwards on YouTube, then I'll link that video down below. Will there be a weapons with unique effects similar to Siagros CE? I can't even say his name. What oh, Sergios. Siagros. See it? See it? Uh, mm. so then, so then yours, yeah. <laughs> In for you. Like, what did effect but, did you have on him? That was a bleed damage one? Or? So Regios weapons, if you dodge, they would sharpen like after like oh, yeah. three or four dodges. Um, and if they were bow guns, they would reload after a dodge. I think um, if, if I take this one, it's probably easier. Imagine um, that in world. That would be nuts. Like, yeah. oh my goodness. I want that. Make it happen. That's a two I, sixes I think, request. And every time that happens, it should could be called two sixes weapon as well. So, yeah. I think, I think uh, it's easy. Probably, I, I can not take that one because I kind of, I actually asked that in my interview. Um, I was, I was supposed to talk to specifically about the No Gigante gear. I was like, you know, know that generative ability. I was like, is this something we can see uh, is this something we would be likely to see in his gear or his weapons? And like, while we don't have the specifics, he basically said to me, um, the answer to that, well, the answer to that question was ultimately, we're going to make sure that the kind of behavior of Nogigante is somewhat represented in, you know, the, the, the gear and stuff you acquire. So, easy so way to say. The, say what's that. the ba- behavior of him? So, like, with, with Nogigante, so when you attack him, um, his spikes, like, his bones will break off, but then they'll regrow. And if you leave them untamed, They'll regrow like they'll go grow white first, and they go black. And when they go black, they basically become hardened, and then they'll he'll basically have this massive like hard shell outside him. So you will then start bouncing. So you almost need to kind of you have to be aggressive with him, and you have to keep him in check because if you if you let him run away oh, and I just harden up. I, I was waiting for you to make a mistake about him. Nah, being hard. I was specifically <laughs> I was specifically wording my words. <laughs> like I'm full of this hole but yeah basically like he's one of those monsters that will uh, like reward aggressive play because if you just try and play too passively he's basically just gonna come back stronger and mess you up so uh 
Well, yeah, so. That's yeah, he re he basically regenerates. <laughs> He's quite Will I be able to stream directly from my PS4? Or am I going to have to get a capture card? All games you can stream from the PS4. I don't think oh, he's, he's talking about whether this game will have any uh, uh, block, HTCP blocks. Thing. Yeah, yeah there's, as far as I'm aware, there's no HTCP on this game. Um, cool. I mean, you guys were streaming the beta over the weekend. There was no HTCP. Yeah. Uh, as Capcom Europe, we've made it quite clear that we, we don't want that stuff uh, okay. available. Because you know we want you guys to be able to play and share the game. Mm. So, yeah. yeah, I got I got a question for Star. I, uh, yeah, go on. Uh, why no loot crates and powerful star cards? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, um, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of a nice way to answer this. Someone put this, someone put this on mine um, already. I can't remember who it was, but shout out to whichever uh, community member this was. But Monster Hunter has always had loot crates. They just take you 20 minutes to open and <laughs> you get, you know, a bunch of carbs from it. So <laughs> I think we'll stick with that because that's always worked for us. Uh, yeah. And it just to make sure there's no, no one tries to misinterpret that, by that they mean the monster in itself is a loot crate. Like, the monster not, is a loot crate. Yeah, there's not an actual loot crate that takes 20 minutes to open. By hunting the monster, you get rewards at the end, and that's your quote-unquote loot crate. Exactly. <laughs> I just want to make sure no one tries to take that out and take that out of context. Like, there's a 20-minute loot crate? <laughs> uh, how long is the full game, Alex? I don't know. I've, I've literally only played like the first... Uh, I guess so I played up to like four star or three star, something like that. So I've only played like a tiny portion of the game. Uh, I have no idea what happens beyond defeating Anjanath. Cool. It's pretty big. Um... <laughs> I think that's it for most of the questions. That there was one question asked. earlier that I saw crop up, just a, just a quick one. It was just like, are there arena quests? And yes, yeah, there are arena quests. I didn't get to do them, um, but they are there. You can access them from the, the guild hall. Cool. Nice. Um, oh yeah, like how many confirmed monsters are there now, Alex? No, I believe no. now we are at 17. Uh, I think within that, that's now, I think it's seven returning and the rest are, the rest of the earth, I think some of like that. But yeah, with the, with the, obviously with seeing Lavasioth and uh, Uragan in the most recent trailer, I think that brings it up to 17. I think. I, could be, I need to go back and double check the numbers, but it's around there. Will there be a mixed material exchange make a return from for you? Uh, I don't know. I haven't encountered. I didn't encounter it when I was wandering out the around the town. But then I also only encountered the town early on, so I don't know what changes. For example, when I was there, I didn't see the melding pot. But we know from Famitsu there will be a melding pot, so I imagine stuff shows up later. Um, so not too sure. <laughs> okay, cool. Um... Just wait for me to say something. <laughs> No, 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 I was looking at someone asking us about, tell us what you know about G-Rank, and this was like, we've answered that question. That was the first up a lot, question. Yeah. It's like, G-Rank? G-Rank? I want, like, okay. Do you, all right, this is a question that I'm going to ask you. Do you think, with or without G-Rank, if there's going to be, like, this game is not going to be adequate for people to be, like, have a substantial fun with the game or not? Like, do you think, like, what... Um, because everyone's asking about G rank and they haven't spoken about it. Do you think that it's not going to be fun without it, or whatever you've played so far is not going to be a challenge enough that you need G rank? Even if the game didn't no. have G rank or did have G rank, do you feel like there is a need for G rank from what you've seen so far? I'm honestly not worried. Like, I'm yeah. honestly, I'm honestly not. Like I've played. I mean, I've been playing Monster Hunter for a long time. I've played many games that I've played in the past. Portable Third. Um. Four, I played four before four ultimate was out. You know, I'm I've, I'm used to playing like Monster Hunter games that don't even have G rank, right? Like I don't like to me, G rank is a cool thing, and I can understand why people like it. But there's also it's important to realize that like you know Monster Hunter doesn't like Monster Hunter doesn't hinge on G rank, right? So I feel like there's plenty of stuff to do. I think I'm gonna be kept busy regardless of what happens. And also the thing that I just keep in my mind is that we're on home consoles now. You know, there's obviously plenty more ways to expand games. So I honestly I'm not worried. Like regardless of what happens. Do you yeah. or no? Like, I don't think it's. I don't think there's anything yeah, to worry it's about. it's assumption that the concept can be the same, right? There could be something <clears throat> after what we know that will keep yeah. players invested for however long, right? People just don't. Uh, I mean, look at generation, that. and, that's, right? and that's maybe why they're not talking about it at the moment because it could be a new complete system that's unique yeah. to uh, Monster Hunter, like many of the other systems that are in game. I think people are really worried about that, but they're just assuming it based on like. Just old things. That yeah, I mean, I, I think the, the best way to take it, and I mean, again, like, I've, it's, it came from my interview in Japan, like, because with this, this has come up like so many times, and I think Ryozo answered. He's like, you know, we've had many questions about, you know, 
uh, the the amount of content and stuff like that. And he just says, all I ask is just trust us. We've been making more stuff this time. We know we know our audience. We know our games. There'll be plenty of stuff for you to do. Um, mm. And if he says that, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna love it. Like, so yeah, it's gonna be good. And I the always again, feel like the it's f- needed. H uh... HR's uh, never been a real traffic, uh, a challenge in gen. It did not hold my interest nearly as much as four or three. That doesn't mean that the monsters in this game are not going to be some sweaty challenge that you need to like grind out yeah. or something like that. So you don't know. I think it always depends yeah. on where people started. Yeah. I think I think if people came in like for ultimate, like their first experience would be obviously with G Ram. But it depends on how long you've been playing the series. I mean, like when um, you know if you've encountered games that have played without it before. I mean, like Portable Third is probably one of my favorite Monster Hunter games, and that was just a higher end version. I had so much fun with that. Um, so yeah, like provided the game's fun, provided there's plenty of stuff for me to do, yeah. I honestly don't mind how it is presented. Like, there's also loads of different options that they can do. They could, like, include G-Rank. They could not include G-Rank. They could include G-Rank and release DLC so you keep your... It keeps the interest of uh, people uh, in the game. Like, because if there's new monsters coming out every month, you're going to have a new monster to hunt and get a new loot to get anyway. So it's just like... <laughs> You don't know what the the cadence of deal, of content is going to be. Wait till, until the game comes out, and then yeah. maybe decide on like what's happening there and then, and be asking for G rank. Like get through the starting content, and then be like, oh, what yeah, more yeah. content? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Um. So now we're going to wrap up on the question. 